Hello, my dearest Leos. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope the first part of June has been really good for you guys. I know your reading for the first part of June was really exciting. It was really exciting and I know for a lot of you, it was kind of filled with um, little eureka moments like, oh my gosh, yes, I do deserve this. Um, I wanna thank all of you um, from the deepest depths of my heart um, for just your your comments your likes subscribing to uh, the channel and I'm, I'm really glad that the video connected with so many of you I've only been doing this for I think four weeks when this video airs it's probably more like maybe six weeks but at this point if we're saying it's four weeks your Leo video has hit 66,000 views which is just astronomical and um, really grateful full of gratitude lots of it lots of it to you guys you're wonderful you're really warm wonderful people and um, I think we're gonna find some interesting stuff in this reading you start you guys are starting off with the nine of cups up here now I don't often get too involved with the zodiac signs that appear in some of these. When it's really obvious, then I'll speak of it. Um, but there's some really interesting and really odd synchronicities, the way the cards are displaying and how some of the zodiac signs are appearing in this reading. So I think there is some very interesting outside energies influencing and affecting all of you for the last two weeks in June. And we're gonna get into that because it's a really interesting um, analysis on how these have played out. So, but you starting with the Nine of Cups energy. So this is great energy. Um, it's wonderful. This is a really happy Nine of Cups card. There is um, the Pisces symbol at the top of it. And we will talk about that because that comes into play for some important moments for you guys. It does. Um, and I just want to caution you about having too much of a good time. I want to just talk, talk, talk to you a little bit about having too much of a good time. Just, you know, be careful that you don't overdo it. You've got this three of swords here. We're just feeling, you know, it's time to protect my heart. Just be, be careful with who you're giving your heart to, who you're asking to have a good time with. If it's just a good time, then keep it at that. Um, for at least this moving into the, the last two weeks in June. Um, you don't stay in it very long in it. This is a really nice card with the coins, with the uh, seven of coins. It's kind of like waiting for your the fruit to be picked. What you've worked so hard at getting is now just about ready to be harvested. And you're just sitting there and waiting for that abundance to come to you. Really nice energy here with the four of wands. This to me is an exciting new beginning in something, a sort of a celebration of a beginning. It's, it's gonna create a tower moment, which I really, I like to see for you guys, because I think we need to clear out a lot of negative energy that's happened in the past. And we need to just start getting on to this more fulfilling energy, this abundance that the universe has to give to you and I feel like it's really coming for you. So I just, before I get into it a lot about what I see coming, I wanna just talk about some of these zodiac signs that are appearing in here. So you have the temperance card here, which is Sagittarius. Now down here, right below Sagittarius, you have the king of wands. And I feel as though this king of wands is you, it's a fire sign. Do you see how behind the King of Wands, there is the, Scor the, not the Scorpio, the Sagittarius sign, and it's here. So this is the Sagittarius card. This is about balance, right? With the Temperance card, it's about um, achieving what you want, but it's not really fast. It's balanced, it's at a good pace. And I don't know if some of you are perhaps dealing with um, a Sagittarius, another fire sign. 
because it feels like you actually, you have fire energy up here and then you have a tower moment and then you have this great balance with the Sagittarian energy. And it's like these two cards are speaking to each other because it's right here again. It's right underneath it. You're right underneath it and you're showing their, their sign again. It feels good. This Sagittarius energy feels actually really good. So whatever, and it feels like they're bringing balance in for you after this tower moment, this big change in, you know, how you're living your life or how you see your life. So there's some kind of Sagittarius energy that's giving you some nice balance after a tower moment. You have two offers coming in. You have a Knight of Coins and you have a Knight of Swords. So your Knight of Coins is an Earth sign. Knights are all about doing. So someone is coming towards you, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, or just someone who, um, you know, is really stable. Typically, coins are slow moving and Knights, the Knight of Coins can be slow moving, but this guy is not. This is a great energy, this Knight of Coins. This Knight of Coins is on a really great horse here. Their movement is pretty good. It's not something that you would get impatient with. This offer that they're bringing towards you, for me in this card feels um, a little bit like an enlightenment. Uh, intuition is telling them to approach you for some reason. They're getting an intuition. They've got these golden antlers on their helmet. So I feel like they, they're connected with spirit. They're getting some, some kind of nudge from this Knight of Coins to approach you and their energy is moving towards Sagittarius. I'm feeling a little bit like you guys are kind of in demand here. <laughs> you are, people are noticing you. People are noticing you and I think for some of you it's feeling maybe a little bit overwhelming and that could be part of what this tower moment is. You've maybe not been feeling this kind of attention from people and it's genuine. It's genuine intention, attention. Their intentions are genuine as well and it's really talking about like your full energy here between these two offers the knight of swords uh which the, the swords again are air signs so you're looking at a libra aquarius or a gemini or someone with that in their signs um in their chart and you've got a new beginning here you're ready to go off <sighs> interesting look at how it's it's almost a mirroring though with this sagittarius card and the rainbow in there do you see how she's creating this rainbow with the fire and the light and the water? And now you're zipping around on your balanced little ball here, having a good time, zipping around this rainbow. Is this a rainbow that was created for you by the Sagittarius energy? And these other two knights are trying to get in, like, hello. I feel like this knight is coming towards Sagittarius, like, hey, no, no, Leo's mine, excuse me. And then this knight of swords is thinking, well, these two are too busy to look with each other i'm coming in i'm coming into leo's wonderful new having a new start a new venture adventure this knight of swords is really looking at you these two seem distracted with each other but that's not the only energy though guys so now we come down here you got the king of wands like i said you've got sagittarius being played right here and there's a symbol and there's the card then you have scorpio and you've got the Five of Cups here, which is a Scorpio energy. I don't feel like this is you guys. I feel like this Scorpio energy is affecting you somehow, this person who's feeling kind of in the dumps. It may be some of you who have, may have a lot of Scorpio in your chart. Maybe any of you who, your Venus, if your Venus is in Scorpio, maybe this is you. But this is very, really Scorpio energy. And isn't it odd? how this card here has Scorpio and right beside it you have the Scorpio. That's why I'm feeling like the other zodiac signs are really important in your reading right now with this. And this, this, it, this is, to me, this is you guys. This sun card is you guys because that's your planetary energy for Leo. Your planet is the sun, which is everything. How powerful is that? You're really taking, this feels stronger to me than even the strength card. For you guys look at how you're balancing like the solar system right time is on your side you have the power to choose 
you have the ball in your court, guys. Whatever is going on with these energies around you, Leo has the ball in their court, and the power is given to you on this. And, and you're showing it here. You've got the Palace of Cups. This is very, very good emotional energy. Very good deep feelings. Like this palace is down at the bottom of the ocean. I mean, it has gone deep. This is really a deep exploration of feelings and desires of love. Of love energy. And cups, it's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then look what we have right here, this moon card. And who do we have up here but Pisces? Very deep intuitive connection here. This moon card in this deck for me is really all about evolution. There's an evolution happening for you. It's And it feels like it's becoming more finely tuned as we move out of the end of June. I feel like you guys really entered an evolution, many of you, an evolutionary change, massive tower moments, more at the beginning of June. And, and, and just in terms of energy and how it's playing out for most Leos right now, there's really positive energy coming towards you. Like you guys have the universe. You have the universe in your hands. You could really do or get anything you want right now. It's all about believing that it's for you, that you can do it. I will pull out clarifiers. You end with the king of coins here. This is a really solid, solid, solid card. Kings can be kind of controlling in terms of, you know, their position in the deck, but the king of coins is really a really honest, a really grounded energy. And it's sitting under this Palace of Cups and this evolutionary moon energy card for you. So closing off June, I feel like you guys have almost a little too much to deal with in terms of offers. Whether for some of you, maybe these are job offer offers, maybe these are new opportunities in friendship. Some of them feel like love offers. Knights are really, like, these people are coming towards you. This energy is coming towards you guys. Like, you almost don't need to do anything except let it come to you and make your choices. And as we said, I just love holding this card up because this is you guys, the end of June. You are holding the universe in your hand. You have the ability to make the choices that are right for you. It's being presented to you. People are presenting their offers to you and it's for you to choose. It really is for you to choose. Okay, let's get some more information about this temperance card. I'm just gonna do a bit of a shuffle here. this a couple of times and then we'll ask spirit to give us some guidance some clarity oh, that's funny two of cups keeps coming up when i split the deck okay okay so i'm gonna make sure i can shuffle on camera someone didn't trust one of the cards that came out for i don't know if it was a daily reading i did or they said you switched hands that card you put that in there on purpose but anyways so you can see the cards. So the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, don't even tell me that. Like this is another offer? No. Well, it's actually, it's just sort of reaffirming that you have this knight, right? You have this knight. So this is what this temperance card, I'm asking for clarity on the temperance card. So it's feeling like this Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacle, they're the same um, offer is giving you some sort of balance. It's gonna give you a more balanced perspective on what it is that you want or what you're looking for. Let's see why you guys have the fool energy around this in this Knight of Swords. Why does Leo have the fool energy? Because you've got the 10 of Pentacles, which is really having what you want. I mean, she's sitting there in such a pretty state. She's got a lot of what she wants with this Ten of Pentacles. It could be also be getting rid of burdens with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, like just, 
just having the energy that you want instead of any other distraction. That's a solid foundation. This, and you come back with it with the king at the end. I feel like you guys are getting some really a really decent offer from an earth sign. There's a really decent offer from an earth sign coming in. It's giving you, it's helping you through this tower moment. It's giving you balance. It's creating a new beginning, a new beginning for you. This full energy and temperance are all surrounded with this earth energy. Let's see what the Knight of Swords is up to. What is the Knight of Swords doing in Leo's reading? What is the Knight of Swords here for? What does the Knight of Swords want with Leo? Why is the Knight of Swords here with Leo? Knight of Swords with Leo. Knight of Swords with Leo. Oh my goodness, the Knight of Swords hmm, didn't come out. The Knight of Swords is being very quiet. That's odd for the Knight of Swords. Usually a little bit outspoken, the Knight of Swords. They're keeping their cards close to their chest. What is going on with the Knight of Swords? Here we go. Huh, the Knight of Wands. That's interesting. Communication. Communication. So this Knight of Swords wants to communicate to you about something, but you know what, I don't know. Their energy is not coming through very strong in the rest of this reading. I feel like I'm, I'm really getting the message that this, this pentacle coin energy, this earth sign energy, whether it's a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, this is the stable energy for you guys. And whoever this is may have a lot, a lot of Sagittarius in their chart, which is going to make them a very independent person, really fun, adventurous person. If, if it's that type of person with Earth that's very grounded and like sort of deep in that sense, like they can still put deep roots into where they want to be and then go off on adventures and come back to that grounded space. That's a really like, and that is a balanced energy, right? And we're talking about balance here because I would not typically put a Sagittarius energy with an earth energy, but if you had them together, it kind of makes for a very exciting and dynamic individual. Ah, let me see, let me see. Let's look at the Palace of Cups. That is really the Palace of Cups energy. The Five of Cups, look at how focused she is on that cup right now. So it feels to me that you are going to be focusing really your love, your devotion to something or someone towards the end of June. Now, just be careful. Just be careful because there's so much focus here that some of these other cups are starting to float away. And I don't feel like those other cups are like other love offers. I feel like this love offer that you're experiencing with this Palace of Cups and perhaps with this Earth energy is so unexpected to you. And, and still, I'm feeling as if some of you are feeling undeserving of it. But you come out of that quick and you really, so you start looking at this cup and start saying, wow, this is so beautiful. This could be so beautiful. But just so other aspects of your life, I guess, you know, don't let those um, fall away. Remember to pay your bills. Remember to get the kids to school. Whatever it is that you need to do, remember to do. Uh, let's get a Zodiac card here. So let's see if we can get... That came out a little... I'm going to double swipe. Let, I want to ask the question and then you can answer. So let's see what Zodiac energy is really around and really influencing Leo for the last two weeks in June. And I've put a moon card in here to represent Leo if it's your own energy or if you're dealing with another Leo. So if that, because your card is already at the top. So what? <gasps> Scorpio! Scorpio, see? Isn't that interesting? Because Scorpio is here and Scorpio is there. Hmm. I want a clarifier on this Scorpio because the Scorpio energy doesn't look good. Why does spirit want us to be cautious of this Scorpio energy? 
What is going on with the Scorpio? And I see the dog is upset. It's okay, Lily, it's okay. Lily is upset about the Scorpio energy. <laughs> That's too many cards. You're gonna have to wait, Lily. We're gonna have to see what Spirit tells us about the Scorpio energy. The Scorpio energy is the star. It should be your wishes. This should be your wishes. Oh, I'm feeling as if somebody else, somebody else sees you as the star, but they want, so you have to be careful with Scorpio energy because Scorpio energy can be about the truth from their perspective. They, they, Scorpio will pick and choose what suits their goal, right? What suits the outcome that they are looking for. So it will be the truth that they really believe in because they've picked and choosed what they want to support their goal. Yeah, the Scorpio energy feels like it's kind of trying to fool us. Just be careful with the Scorpio energy. Because you have the King of Wands and you have the Sun card on either side of Scorpio here. And this is bad energy. This is bad energy. It's not feeling like it's you guys to me. It's not feeling like it's Leo. I don't know if some of you are thinking that perhaps this might be your energy. I think I did say at the beginning of the reading, there might be some of you that have some Scorpio maybe in your Venus chart, Venus part of your chart. Just because this, normally this card feels really good with the star, but with the five of cups and this double confirmation on Scorpio and understanding, you know, like, this is, you know, making a wish and wishes coming true. But why is it bad energy? I need another one on that. Why is that bad energy, though? It doesn't even make sense. We need spirit to really clarify why this Scorpio energy is bad. Can you guys see that? It did fall out on one end when you think that. <laughs> Five of Wands. So that is a tough energy. Look at this person is exiting that energy, though. They are exiting that energy. So everyone is going in this direction and it's a battle and it's a fight and they're being stabbed by these swords. It's not, or these wands, which are like swords in a sense, the way they're stabbing. But this individual is exiting, is going in the other direction and I think that's a good thing to do with this Scorpio energy. Yeah. Yeah, because the sun card comes right in. Really claim your own energy. Really claim what you know is your truth. Because the Scorpio energy might be trying to fool you about what is good for you. So just be careful about that because you guys really know what's good for you. Let's see what the feminine energy is. Oh, okay. The feminine, we got two cards. Earth and assurance. Interesting. This earth card... Um, is about a lot of abundance. It's about having a deep connection. Did we not have a lot of earth signs in your reading right now? Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of earth around you guys right now, but I also feel like this is also a fertility card. So if you guys wanna get pregnant, um, would you like to get someone pregnant? The last two weeks in June, your energy moving through that anyways, and maybe beyond a bit, is very fertile. If you don't want to get pregnant or don't want to get someone pregnant, put a sock on it. <laughs> like, be careful. Because this is Earth energy and you guys are having some sort of deep connection with an Earth sign in here. And assurance. Oh, wow. Look at how she makes this grow out of her hand. Uh, cycles. There's Sometimes it's just amazes me how I can look at an image over and over again and then for a particular reading I see something for the first time so the the crown that she wears around her head is depicting the moon cycles in this picture and the moon cycles to me can often also mean um if we're talking about fertility 
fertility, like cycles, reproductive cycles, and she's producing something in her hand. So be careful if you don't want to reproduce because this is an assurance that I think this is a very, but it's also telling you that this is a very fertile. This is a very fertile connection. There's abundance definitely in this connection. And this is what the feminine cards are bringing you, this feminine energy. And feminine is where life is created. The seed is planted by the masculine and the feminine nurtures it and gives it life, turns it into life. What is the masculine energy around Leo the last two weeks in June? What is your masculine energy, guys? What does the masculine have to say to us? <sighs> Shiva the Destroyer. Hmm. That's a beautiful card. I know it doesn't sound like it, but it really is. Shiva is a beautiful story, and this feels like a bit of a tower moment. And who's coming in to save you but your Shiva? So the story with Shiva is, Shiva destroyed everything, everything around him, everything within him, except, except for the true divine love that Shiva had for his wife. And that's all he needed. That's all they needed. So nothing else mattered, right? Which is really what the universe is about. I know Shiva's got a bad rap, but that's the story of Shiva. So Shiva destroyed the bullshit. Shiva destroyed the bad. Shiva destroyed the excess and only kept the divine true love that Shiva had for his wife, for his partner. This feels like a really good reading. Whoever this is that is bringing in this Palace of Cups for you, it feels like an Earth sign. It may be a Sagittarius. It may be a Sagittarius with a ton of Earth in their chart. It may be an Earth sign with a ton of Sagittarius in their chart. But they, this is this is good. This is like very fruitful, a very very fruitful relationship or opportunity that's coming to you guys. It's looking good. It's continuing to look good for you guys. Just be cautious of some Scorpio energy towards the end of June. Towards the end of June, there's this difficult Scorpio energy that we're getting mixed messages, mixed messages about, okay? And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And please leave a comment, a like, a share, and we will see you guys soon, I hope. Take care. Bye.